In this video, I'm going to paint a portrait every day for 30 days to see how much I improve, and I'm going to share with you my entire process and everything I learned. All of these portraits will be drawn digitally and on Procreate. The first few days of the challenge were very tough. I had set a two hour time limit for myself, and I wasn't drawing very nicely. For day one, it felt like each brush stroke I put down was a risk. Time was running out and I had to pick up the pace. After two hours, I wasn't too proud of this piece, but it marked the beginning of the 30 day process. Second day, I realized that my habit of zooming in to add details was counterproductive. As artists, we love to get caught up in the small details, but I had a two hour time limit to follow. The two hour mark came way earlier than expected, and although the painting felt incomplete, I was learning on which parts of a portrait to prioritize on. Day three, I wanted to implement what I've learned from previous days. It was a slow start, but I tried not to get lost in the details. You can see how much I simplified this clothing a lot with big brush strokes. It was more finished than the last two portraits and I was happy with how believable the clothing looked. Fourth day and I found a heavenly reference. You're probably noticing that my art is very stylized, a style which was very heavily influenced by this one small artist. Despite trying my hardest to not zoom in, the painting still took two and a half hours. I was happy I at least finished it even if it wasn't within two hours. We are officially a sixth of the way through the challenge. I tried a fast and loose approach, and once I got into the flow, I couldn't stop. I was unstoppable. It wasn't even two hours in, and I was already really satisfied with how it turned out. I was amazed at how different my fifth portrait was to my first one. I was basically the next Da Vinci. Throughout this challenge, I constantly kept stepping out of my comfort zone. This one had hands. I thought I was scared of hands, but it wasn't those hands that made me struggle. It was actually the lips. As you can see, I struggled a lot. She almost looked like she was talking to me. The painting took three hours, and I was happy with how well I portrayed the lighting scenario. For the next portrait, I tried to apply everything I learned in the last week. I used my sketching time wisely to leave enough time for rendering. The detailed hair in this portrait, it took a while, but I knew I needed to speed it up for the next portraits. Eight days in, and I struggled to balance the daily portraits with work, life, and friends and family. After returning home from work at midnight, I would start my next portrait. Sometimes I'd stay up until 6am to finish them. I was really determined to not skip a day here, and <laughs> some people called me crazy for it. But for day 9, I lost track of time here, giving in to the perfectionist within me. While it's good to strive for the best, I knew I needed to let go of perfection to save time for future portraits. This portrait ended up taking 4 hours to complete, so we're getting longer. My sister asked me to draw her on day 10. <laughs> yeah, this is what she looks like, but I made her look better in the painting because I'm such a good brother. I took away the time limit for this piece though, since it was a special occasion, celebrating one third of the challenge's completion. From here on, I committed to completing a portrait daily, regardless of how long it took. Over the next five days, I experimented with different styles and techniques, learning as much as I could from each experience. Instead of seeing the hair as individual strands, I would see them as one big shape. Using this approach made drawing hair much more easier. But what wasn't easy was that I kept stepping out of my comfort zone. For day 13, I tried painting it in a style that was very different to what I would usually make. I clearly didn't know my fundamentals because look at how much I struggled with these eyes. I experimented with different brushes and I used liquify to my advantage. The person I'm painting here was a friend of a friend, so the pressure was on. I wanted this one to be perfect, so I stylized it as best as I could. Time flew by and I was finally finished. Whoa. I spent a whopping seven hours and a half on this painting. But most of the time was probably looking at the screen, mustering up the strength to make the next brush stroke. Day 15 proved difficult as I faced an art block. I searched for inspiration and tried various references, but nothing worked. Maybe I pushed myself too hard, so I decided to skip a day, which turned into two, then three. I felt like I was relating my art with long and tedious hours of suffering, so I decided to apply a time limit again, eventually drawing this reference. I had a lot of fun, and I felt improvement in my color picking. I started appreciating colors a lot more in day 16. I was in that natural phase of abusing saturation. I exaggerated them in focal points, bumping up that saturation meter to the max. And at this point, I could smell the colors. I also started to get the hang of the facial structure and how to make the face look good. I felt more confident in my hair rendering skill, keeping it simple and using big brush strokes to create the illusion of detail. I could feel the improvement with each portrait. My brain was basically pumping with new knowledge. I tried going as fast as I could for day 18. I rendered the entire thing in 1 hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I broke my wrists with how fast I painted this one. At this point, 
I felt like I mastered rendering until I forgot the hands. It's alright though, because we need to keep powering through this challenge and get 30 of them done. Each portrait was very different, and this one was definitely the most colourful one. Painting eyes were still really hard for me, but I really liked how the hands turned out in this one. To just one of them. But on day 20, my pace began to slow down again, and burnout hit me like a train. But I was two thirds of the way into this challenge, and was determined to finish the 30 portraits, even if it meant taking longer than planned. I skipped a few more days, feeling fed up of drawing portraits. It ended up being a week break, but soon I got back into the flow. I still had lots to improve on, and still had 10 more days remaining in the challenge. Doing a challenge like this taught me so many things. I failed so many times, skipped a good bunch of days, and went through multiple art blocks. That's to be expected though, because when people usually think of improvement, usually a straight road to the destination is what comes to their mind. People usually think of a hard noodle, when in reality it's a wet noodle. <laughs> I pushed my limits and went through so many ups and downs. You're going to fail, you're going to make mistakes, but it's those mistakes that make you better than before. Don't let failure and mistakes discourage you because they can be our best teachers. If you want to get good at art fast, yes, setting challenges for yourself can be an exciting thing, but you need to be realistic. It surprised me to see how fast I improved, but I was unrealistic with myself. I started this challenge while working part-time at a fast food restaurant, and it was like a desperate effort to become good as fast as I could. It was like a move to go independent and get art as a job as soon as possible. I had to double my efforts, staying up until even 6am to finish some of the portraits. But the main thing to take away from this is that you should keep your art journey fun for yourself. If it's not fun, it's not going to be sustainable, and that definitely showed when I skipped a bunch of days from the extreme burnout. We officially have 5 days remaining and I am getting much more comfortable with drawing faces. The results from drawing so many faces was starting to show. I even changed it up and added a baguette for some extra flavour. <laughs> and I was really proud of how this one turned out. It was just... For day 27, it was another friend of a friend that I was drawing here. I had lots of fun just messing around with different techniques, like chromatic aberration or perspective blur. And you can see for yourself where I got creative. I was really proud of how this one turned out, and it was the first man I drew in this challenge. I posted a lot of these portraits on Instagram, and usually wrote my thoughts down in the caption after completing each portrait. These are taking longer as I near the end of the 30 day challenge and it isn't daily anymore, lol. It's true, I skipped a lot of days towards the end from being tired of repeatedly drawing faces all the time. I definitely couldn't keep up 30 days in a row, but I did aim to complete 30 portraits. <sighs> He's kinda hot. My facial proportions are getting much better. I wanted to make the most of the remaining days, so I wanted to make this one as best as I could, even if it meant taking a short while. But it was the second last day, and I was ready to take on the final portrait. On the final day, I decided to redraw my day 1 portrait. I set up a 2 hour time limit so that they both had the same amount of time to finish. While drawing this, I was already noticing huge differences, and once the 2 hours were up, it's just, comparing this to the first one, the difference is just mind blowing. Those eyes though, <laughs> it's definitely the main difference. I drew so many eyes that I could see into a different dimension. Overall, I'm very pleased with the results from this challenge, but instead of taking 1 month, it took me 1 month and a half. Still, some crazy results. This was by far the hardest thing I've ever made myself do. I actually finished this challenge last year, around 8 months ago. My improvement has definitely slowed down, but that's because I'm not under any extra pressure to finish some insane challenge. If I look back to when I was doing that challenge, I was suffering, but in hindsight maybe it was a good thing. If you want to try a challenge like this for yourself, you can definitely go for it, but just be realistic with yourself and have fun with it. I definitely had a hard time trying to balance hours of art every day with my life, so don't be like me. Drawing consistently is bound to improve your skill. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any content you'd like to see from me in the future because this is my first ever video on this channel. But keep drawing and I will see you next time. <laughs> Why did I do that?